might have some technical difficulties, but this looks like the real deal, Dara. Yeah, this is it. We're going to be jumping into game one here. Meg D already sword in hand, looking to be able to get this juggle started. Tosses it away, just denying weapons. We are not in twos anymore. If you do not pick up that weapon, you might have a bit of a tough time getting it started. Yeah, for sure. So already Adam Estic able to push Meg D off stage here, trying to get something started. But Meg D with a great Ooh. here, going to make it back. Nice little wake up there from Adam Estic here. Yeah, Animastic right now just playing uh, really solid, just kind of spacing out Meg D, able to get that pop-up, doesn't find the immediate follow-up with Neutral and doesn't actually find the down but right now, Animastic slight damage lead. Yeah, so so far, obviously, you saw it both of the times where Meg D is kind of comboing out Adamastic. Adamastic has been doing a really good job at waking up out of whatever Meg D is doing. Maybe that's something Meg D is going to start adapting to, though. For sure, and okay, gonna be jumping out there, gets that neutral, dashing in, dashing out. Now you're not gonna be able to pick up that weapon. Meg D just gonna be knocking Addy Mystic off stage. Patrolling the ground a little tiny bit. Oh, oh. beautiful with the GC downlight recovery. The Sword Classic, that's what you're looking for, that's what you always want. Not only is it the Sword Classic, he just threw an, an extra delay there to make it a little bit more spicy, just to make sure that it's getting that Adam Mystic <laughs> is getting knocked out here. And there you saw it, Adam Mystic tried to wake up there from what Meg D was doing, but Meg D is starting to get used to that. That ain't gonna work anymore, Addy. Oh yeah, for sure. This entire game, I feel like Meg D has just been keeping Adam Mystic away from these weapons, but that weapon spawn so, coming in so clutch, finally, looking for this landing, gets that down, but I feel like Adam Mystic, you know, gets like one, two hits, but nothing uh, too much more than that. Meg D. Excellent dodge to the right, able to now get back onto the stage and finds that spike. Oh, but oh. that's a chase dodge coming out from Adamestic, which is going to sustain their stock here. Missed mm. the D-Light though, that's, Meg D is not going to be able to punish that weapon throw coming out, looking for this KO. But Adamestic is actually doing a great job at out, at out zoning all of these options from, from Meg D. Oh, absolutely, and that's going to be the Falling Sail to be able to take out that stock. You know what? Despite the damage difference, Addy Mystic, I like the way they're approaching neutral. They're not like really over committing to anything. Uh, now, one bit hand though. Ooh, you don't want to miss that falling. So, Meg D able to fully capitalize on it and find that stock. The stock was looking great at the end of her Addy Mystic, but unfortunately, right now, Meg D's sword is just too clean. Like, Meg D is able to get so much damage in a row without Addy Mystic even being able to touch him. It's like every single time Meg D gets one hit, it's just easier to get the mm -hmm. next one. And Addy Mystic just looking through this next opening, gonna be whiffing that button, Meg D, getting that neutral excited, such a good dodge to be able to get uh, past that attack safely, but ends up downlighting in the wrong direction. Yeah, no, it is definitely not looking good for Meg D right now. Me sorry, it's not looking good for Addy Mystic right now. Yeah. Meg D is on a roll here. All of, their, all of their attacks are connecting, and now it's just about finding that final KO and finishing this off. Oh, yeah. Right now, Addy Mystic, okay, gonna be trying to catch the high recovery early with the recovery. Uh, doesn't actually find it though. Looking for the falling neutral, that's gonna be the punish. Chase dodge in to the end, so you're actually gonna end up whiffing, but I love the attempt nonetheless. Addy Mystic picking up Olive yet again, but that is going to be the recovery to take out that stock. Meg D kept it solid, kept it consistent, kept up his lead, and denied Addy Mystic a lot of that game of any weapons. For sure, I mean, we're definitely seeing a cat and mouse game here, where at some points, Addy Mystic was keeping it even, keeping it, you know, competitive, and also, you know, getting close to uh, one-upping Meg D, but every single time that he got that close, Meg D just came back stronger. Yeah, for sure. So going into the next one, honestly, I gotta say, uh, Addy Mystic definitely, like, played neutral, like, pretty tight, pretty solid. Uh, there was, like, a couple of other extensions, and I just feel like Meg D was able to get a little bit more mileage out of these whiff punishes than Addy Mystic was. Already trying to jump in with that downer, trying to get something started with those gauntlets. Yeah, 100% so far, obviously not too much happening. We're seeing both of the players trying to approach this cautiously, actually scratch that Meg D. That was kind of a spicy option. Oh, for sure, just waiting patiently, just saying, you know what, you're eventually gonna oh come back Lord. onto the stage. That's almost a stock, tossing up the gauntlets, Addy Mystic without a weapon yet again, but constantly getting outranged by the sword until he picks up a sword of his own. That's gonna be a, a sale, getting Addy Mystic off stage. Now needs to find a way to be able to get back on. Such a good chase dodge, just to take back control. Trying to find a way to get the KO here, but Adamestic actually doing a good job at out zoning all of his options here. Not able to get a KO just yet. Adamestic actually pushing him further into the stage. Ooh. That's the GC DLI recovery. Could this be a stock for Adamestic? I don't think so. Meg D is going to be able to find that KO. And I want to quickly mention too obviously, after every single match, both players kind of tend to level up to some extent to try and adapt to the game. Right now, it's looking like Meg D might have leveled up the hardest, but at the, at the end of that stock, there, Adamestic mm -hmm. was looking super solid. For sure. Wait, I'm looking 
looking for these jump callouts. They're both on the same weight cell. They're looking to cover the same space simultaneously. Addy Mestic looking for a way to be able to close. Ends up whiffing that, and Meg D lands. Yeah, ends up not hitting that. D-Li recovery not going to KO either. Now onto the orb. I'm smelling a Sarah. I'm, sending, I'm smelling a recovery. But Meg D is being cautious here, and he's going to be able to punish that in a sig instead. Addy is rushing. Addy's rushing a little bit to be able to find this KO. Not even that is going to be able to KO Meg D. Looking for the gentle way to be able to make it back onto the stage. And, oh, nice time. Uh, actually going to be catching the drift out with the sail. Good stuff. Meg D is still going to hold a substantial lead here. Able to quickly knock out a Mystic away to get that weapon through as well. Offstage encounter started. And Meg D on those gauntlets. I'm looking at that and I'm getting scared, Dara. Oh, that's exactly why you should be scared. And now unarmed offstage. You know, just a GC uh, sidelight is not going to actually be able to close it out. Swagged in hand yet again. Dash jumping in. Dash jumping in. Going to be looking uh, for something. Oh, yeah. There you go. I saw it. Like that, there, there was a time span of like three seconds where Megdi could have thrown out Alsair. That's exactly the move he was looking for. He's going to be able to connect it, and that is a full stock lead. Had a rough start, but Megdi is really starting to sustain. I mean, just make his lead bigger and bigger here. Mm -hmm. Okay, Chase dodging in, able to catch the dodge out. Coming in with that side light, just jumping, waiting, dodging. And oh no, ends up uh, going through the neutral light in the wrong direction. Megdi able to find a whiff punish, gets that down, and doesn't get the pickup with the gauntlets, and. Wow, oh, Adamestic okay. getting past that weapon toss. Yeah, massive attacks coming out here from Adamestic, but it might be too little, too late. A big SIG and a recovery, though. I love that option, dude. Ezio yep. SIGs are so cool. Yeah, just be able to combo such like a creative tool to be able to try to get a bit of damage onto the boiler as well. That's one spike. Doesn't get the weapon toss. And oh, the sides of the stage is so long, it does not matter. Adamestic actually going to be taking this to last dog. And this is looking possible, but we know Meg D, every single time he loses a stock, he's gonna come back to those gauntlets and he's about to pop off an Adamastic. Oh, for sure, right now. Ooh, Addy Mestic dashing into those no gauntlets in hand. Able to pick up Swiggy yet again. Quick little neutral light to be able to get Addy Mestic off stage. Being patient, being patient, looking slowly coming back on, and ooh. It's That's not even it. gonna need the D-Light. Single Sarah is all it takes, and that is going to be the set, actually, I believe, since this should be best out of three. So well done to Meg D and Adamastic. Unfortunately uh, for Adamastic, that is going to be the end of uh, the end of uh, this set for him here. Meg D, amazing showing in general. Well played. Yeah, that was beautifully played. Um, I just feel like at the end of the day, Megdi's spacing, Megdi's like execution, Megdi's damage output, a little bit difficult to match. Um, and also, you know, I feel like what separates always like the good player from the excellent player is the neutral. A lot of the time in this set, uh, Megdi just played second beat, played back a little tiny bit, said, hey, why'd you just uh, press a sick? Why'd you just come in with a sideline? Why'd you just come in with a falling side? He played outside of that lane. He was able to get a lot of whiff punishes, and he was able to just sort of win more interactions as a result. So what is the counter you play in that situation? Well, you gotta be able to overshoot options. You have to make sure that you're pressing like buttons that aren't like as committal, unless you're like so confident in how your opponent's gonna be moving that like, okay, this will connect, this will close out the stock, and just slowing down the game a little bit. You have to mix up between overshooting and slowing it down. Yeah, for sure. I mean, as, as you mentioned, just in general, uh